Hey guys, I'm going to make a basic Abacus video for beginners. It's a tutorial. It's a tutorial on making an extrusion uh, for your I beam, your L beam, your cylinders, and so forth. So I'm just gonna make a basic one. I'm just gonna show you how you can actually make an extrusion real quick in less than like a minute. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna create a part. So you don't actually need all of that. You're gonna create a part, and uh, this is where you're gonna start. And uh, let's call it can call it part one. Can call it an I beam. Doesn't matter. But make sure it's deformable and it's a solid, depending on what you want. And it's also an extrusion. So after that, we have to select lines because lines are quite easy to, to manipulate, depending on what you want. So since we want an I beam, it's quite easy to use lines. I'm not going to focus much on dimensioning because the main focus is actually getting an I beam extruded. And that's the first step of doing it. After that, you have to say it's done. Then you give it a depth of 125, could be 125 anything, centimeters, meters, millimeters. But yeah, having an I beam of 125 meters. Okay, but it's going to be very long. That's like uh, 0 0.125. That's like 0 0.125 kilometers. Yeah, that's quite long. But anyways, you can you can say it as you want. It could be centimeters, meters. SI units are not really that much of a factor when you look at a when you use a backwards. So that's extrusion 125 centimeters. Uh, after that, let's make another one. We can uh, try and make a shell. Uh, making an extrusion kind of a shell, make it a cylinder. So in a way, we're making a pipe. Uh, and that's that. When you make a pipe, um, I just selected a circle because it's quite easy. I don't have to select curves or anything. Just make a circle, and then after that, you're done. Give it a depth. Let's give it a very long one. 300 well not it's not that long but it is longer than the one we did before and you can actually check it out by clicking on the mouse pad on the top right corner just that uh button that that dot right there just left uh, left click it hold it and you you know keep playing around with it and you can see it's it's a hollow this hollow kind of cylinder you can have a solid cylinder let's create a new part uh, an extrusion instead of a shell we want a solid one so we're gonna select the circle again and then we are done we extruded let's give a very long one 500 and there you go and play around with it you can see it's actually a solid kind of a, it's a solid kind of a, an extrusion and uh, yeah we can make another one. Uh, this would be an LB, and we can actually name these if we want to be that deep about it. Uh, use lines again. Made a mistake there, just rewind, go back to the line option, keep connecting the lines. And we're done. Give it a depth of 125. And that's about it. Uh, that's about it. Your L beam, I beam, your pipe, your cylinder, all done in less than five minutes. Uh, look out for my next upcoming videos. I will be putting loads, I will be putting fixed points, I will be putting meshes and simulations, and we'll be putting material as well and density. So you can actually see how these things turn out when applied to real life situations. It's simulation, so it's not really 100% accurate because real life situations are quite different, but it is close. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.